Yo, what up? What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the report card. I am your host, Dame Diddy. Ambitious Ace. Yeah, man, and we got no reviews. No reviews for y'all, <laughs> motherfuckers. This week, <laughs> we doing the best of. We got the best R and B albums of the year uh-huh. so far. We uh-huh. got the best hip hop albums of the year so right, far, right, right. and then we got the best groups, compilations, and soundtracks right, together right. in one category so far this year. Yeah. But before we get into that, man, how you been this week, Ace? Relaxing, chilling. Saw you saw Ant Man? Yeah, pretty good, man. Pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah. Hope y'all stick around to the ending. Yeah. That's that's it. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. All, all, the movie was great. I loved all the comedy. I thought. Did like, you like Ghost? Yeah, Ghost was pretty dope. The, the effects, right? Yeah, the effects were pretty dope, and I like what they did with the whole, like you know, just how Ant Man plays with the whole idea of size. Like, I love the little fact. It's not a spoiler, but how Hank had the whole every vehicle in his like <laughs> yeah he had like a Hot Wheels yeah. box <laughs> and I was like yo that's pretty dope but I just love how they play with the whole size they kept it fresh you know even better than the first in my opinion so yeah great movie yeah man so we go from a great movie to a slightly shittier situation you know there was protests in Chicago yesterday mm. apparently the cops shot another black person I mean it's what was no the situation shocker. this time I mean there it just depends on who you ask Mm. I mean, the cops are saying they saw a bulge in the shirt, so he was armed and everything. Wow. And, uh, you know, they shot him. I don't know how many times he was shot or anything like that. But apparently people got videos of the cops beating down protesters and shit like that. Oh. And the cops are claiming it was because they were being thrown rocks and glass. People were throwing rocks and glass at him and shit like that. Well, I hope that situation gets better, but I don't know about that. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know, man. And we got word that Jay-Z and Beyonce together are worth $1.25 billion, man. That's what's up. Good for them. Yeah, man. I'm trying to catch him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we also got word that Nas is worth about $800 million by itself. Nobody knows. That, yeah, that's, that's really it's one of the quiet conversations that nobody wants to have about Nas, right? Right, right. Is there anything else that happened this week? Mm, nothing else. I don't know. I've, I've kind of been out of it. I know Drake's been doing freestyles here and there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, Remy, Ma, Remy Ma has lost a lot of weight. Yeah. Looks really good. Yeah, good for her. Yeah. 50 and Papoose had gotten into it <laughs> earlier was, this that week. Was silly. That, that was really silly. But yeah. How do you feel about this? I don't know if you heard it, man. Azalea Banks. Oh, God. Apparently, she was on uh, Wild and Out. Okay. And she said that they had like a whole bunch of like she she was set to perform. You know did how you they know have they was performing acts. No, nah, I didn't know they did yeah. the season in Atlanta. Yeah, I was like, whoa, that's crazy. Well, I mean, I, I found out today when I was reading about the yeah. thing because if I knew, I would have went. Yeah, that's something. dope. Yeah. But uh, you know, she said she was there to perform, and uh, she said they they had like jokes and they were using colorism against her, and it was like the new version of the Jim Crow, and they were cooning on the show. And how you feel about that, man? You watch Wild and Out. I, I watched Wild and Out, so so she was hired to be a guest to sing, to like sing. basically at the end of the show. But she said that people were joking her, even though she wasn't supposed to be part of any of the other segments. But you're, I'm done. I, I I don't know what to think about that because it seems like every time you mention her name or something, she's always a stir of some sort of controversy. Is this just to get something noticed about her? I, I don't understand it. I don't know. I just know she was saying some real shit about Nicki Minaj earlier this week. Hmm. She was wow. just saying Nicki's done and she's copied everything and she's getting credit for stealing everything Uh-oh, from Little oh, Kim. Don't come at Don't come at the queen hey, like that. I'm just saying. Don't, this don't is what Azalea Banks said, and I agree don't with the things Azalea Banks was saying. You hating on black women? I'm just echoing the sentiments of some of our viewers. That's all. As Joe, how Joe <laughs> Buttons would say it, I love black women. <laughs> you know, that's that's how he holds his love. But nah, seriously though. I mean, if fuck out of here with I, that I, shit. I believe if she said those things, I agree with her as well. I mean, you know, Nikki has done pretty much everything, and it's just like you know, she keeps on doing the same thing. We have said that plenty of times. But other than that, yeah, I don't know what Isaiah will be on all the time. So far this year, man, who do you think got the best in my feelings challenge, man? Will Smith. It was better than Russell and Sierra? Yes. Will Smith killed it. I'm sorry. He shut you it know down. what? I like the way Will Smith did his because mm-hmm. 
He looks at his phone. He looks at and then he looks out the yeah. window. <laughs> and it's like the cinematography. Like he he Yo, he did cool. it with a director's mind. And, yes. And then to have the balls to stand on top of that fucking like you're standing up if you fall you die you know what i'm saying that's it it's over you're dead i just like how you said i woke up in my feelings <laughs> like i wanted to do this <laughs> but yeah he's killing the whole whole game right now with his videos man. how do you feel about uh kim kardashian defending her sister saying that they're self-made man, get the f- listen this whole self-made thing i'm sorry uh, how is she self-made please what, what's the definition of their kylie kylie made? kylie jenner but what is the definition? Because I didn't even take time to read whatever the magazine cover said or whatever like that. Because when they said self-made, I just laughed. Okay. Well, look. Okay. I think Kylie Jenner is self-made. Why is that? Because nobody made her. <laughs> she made herself. Okay. <laughs> but Kim Kardashian is Ray J's dick made. Yeah. I can agree with that. Yeah. So that's the difference. But still, Kylie has the background the, the 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 whole Kardashian. She's not self-made. She didn't. Yes, she did. I mean, because because a lot of the decisions she's made, she's made them, and they benefit her. It's not like there's an outside in its entity. Don't get me she wrong. Her family's her she family's presence helps absolutely. Yes, but so she's not self-made. Yeah. Why not? Because she has the backing of one of the biggest families. I hate to even say that <laughs> in media. <laughs> And it's just like, she's not self-made. I don't care what you say. She's doing a great job with her business, but she's not self-made. That's how you feel, huh? That's how I feel. Okay. She's not self-made. No. And uh, Charlemagne the God, you know. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, what's that about? I mean, apparently, I mean, he talked about it in the book, about how he threw his party and a girl got raped at the party. But I, I'm understanding that these are uh, not the first time that these allegations happen. I never knew that. That happened like 17 years ago. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I mean, apparently it's not being real, but so people now they're trying to call they him had them. signatures, yeah. like almost 200,000 to get him removed from the breakfast club. People just not like him anymore, and they're just using this as fuel to try to get him off. That's yeah. what I feel like it and is. And with that said, uh, the guy that played Superman in the last mm, two Superman Henry movies, Campbell? Hen- Henry Campbell, he's yeah. getting put on, under fire because they asked him, how does he feel about dating now? And he said he doesn't like dating because of the Me Too movement. So he'd rather link up with it. <laughs> So he said he'd rather just link up with. A, he didn't say that. Yes, he did. He said he'd rather link up with an ex girlfriend and go back to a situation that didn't work rather than go meet up with a girl and then. Why did he say that? Well, he's under fire now because they're just saying, "Well, just don't rape anybody and you don't have to worry about the Me Too movement." But he was just like, "It's not that simple these days." Because nowadays, you know, you even brush up against somebody's shirt so, and it's so just what? like you raped me. So what? He's they're calling for a new Superman now. <laughs> they're calling for the end of that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> they want him game over fatality oh gosh I can see where he's coming from I'm not gonna say I agree with it 100% but I can see what made him want to say that though Man, what, I have what? no <laughs> fucking they so, asked him in a magazine about like dating and how do you feel about dating and you were wanting to... <laughs> yo maybe he didn't want he's, he don't want to get me too don't say that dude. like come on I'm oh, just saying wow. that's what Kanye said right he said it in the album, right? Russell, Russell. We're doing too much free thinking right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> you ready to get into it? Let's go. All right, man. Best hip hop. No. Best group soundtracks and compilations of 2018. All right. So far. Okay. In no particular order. Not at all. What you got first, man? First, I got Crisis and Elzai up with Jericho Jackson. Okay. What you think about that? I, I considered it. You considered it? I considered it. I, I went back and I, I kind of clicked through it and I decided not to go hmm. with that. Well, you know, I love the pairing. I love the sound that they created on that. I still go back from time to time to listen to that. Especially, I uh, forget the first two tracks. Uh, I think it's called Think Overthinking. That track, I go back to that all the time because I always catch myself overthinking. And it's just a lot of good motivation out of that. But anything, just dope collaboration, dope record. Yeah. Well, the first one I added to my list, the first one that came to mind was obviously to me, the Black Panther soundtrack. Work. I got uh, that too. I'm pretty sure you did. Yeah. It was just great. You know what I'm saying? It, it, if you haven't heard it yet, Georgia Smith's got a song up there that's great. Yeah. You know, Kendrick's got a couple of dope songs, but he's not the only star of the joint. My boy Mozzie had the fire joint up there with the African dude rapping yeah. Yeah. and the African dude singing on it. Yeah. That shit still plays in my head 
And then obviously the song with him in the weekend was, you know, another star studded song. Right. What else you got on your list, man? I got uh Flatbush Zombies. Flatbush Zombies with uh Vacation in Hell. And just ever since we listened to that man, I go back to it all the time because I love each of their chemistry on that project. They each bring something different to each track. And I just think, you know, they're a really, really good group. That's what's up. I didn't go with that one. Okay. I considered it. Okay. But I went with the Migos. Oh. Culture really? too. Why? And I and I will say I I graded Flatbush Zombies higher than I did the Migos album. Okay. But it's just and the Migos just rush. They run the a culture people, right now. A lot of people saying that Culture Two didn't stand the test of time though. It's this. There's some shit up there. Yeah, there's some, but there's it's some not. Shit up but there. it's not like Culture. If you cut it down to about one album's worth of songs. You got a really good album there. Yeah. And the Migos just run the culture right now. Everything's kind of following them at the moment. That's a, that's agreeable. So yeah. I, I just had to include that, man. Gotcha. What you got? Uh, I got uh, the Carters. Everything is love. You know, I know that you didn't particularly love it, but, you know, I felt like it was a good, good collaborational effort. I know everybody really didn't think of it as, like, the best collab ever, but I thought there was a lot of good music on there. Yeah, I agree with some of that. Yeah, but I picked the Carters as well. Okay, just because it's the damn Carters. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Well, now nah, that's not really the only reason I picked it. There's some dope lyrics on there. Jay Z's dropping jewels as always. Right. Beyonce's dropping jewels too. They're both addressing issues that have been talked about in the public eye from other people, as in you know Kanye West and just stuff that people have said in interviews and they respond to their music and I love that. Right. And Ape Shit is one of the dopest songs of the summer. Yeah. So I also went with that and I went with Prime too. I did too. From Prime. Because Royce the Five Nine is having one of the best 2018s. That's pretty quiet. Nobody's really talking about Royce's 2018. Nobody is. You're right about that. That is amazing to me. He dropped two classics this year. I want to say. I don't want to say two classics, but he his album is definitely really two amazing great. projects. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What you got? I don't know if you go be ready for this, but I got Kid C Ghost on here. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just because I just love the sound that it did. Now, like I said in the review, I wasn't too necessarily fond of Ye, but I love what Kid Cudi brought to that project. And yeah, I thought it was a dope collab. Diddy sees bullshit. Because <laughs> that song, that album did not need to be up there. But, you know, he gets to say whatever he wants. <laughs> what I ended up going with was the love story short by Armand and Trey. Word. It was a short little EP, short and sweet. But if you go and listen to those five joints, it's really good five joint project up there. I agree. And I think that five songs was better than the Kid Seago 7. (laughs) (laughs) What do you got, man? (laughs) Next one with uh, Montana 300, Pray for the Devil. I thought that was dope. That's one person. No, that was a whole group project, though. Nah, was it? Yeah, it was. Nah, that's his project. He had his name first. is Montana of 300. No, yes, but there was, I thought there was there was more than one he has, artist. On he that has song. a couple features on it, so but that it's wouldn't his be considered a group because no. I could have sworn he had like five songs on there with other people on there. He has maybe people I'm featured on his project, but that's his project. His um, name is Montana of 300. Well, excuse me for that. I still <laughs> think it was a dope project. I mean, I'm not saying it's not a dope project. Yeah, I thought it was a, considered a group project. Okay. Well, I went with the Uncle Drew soundtrack. Yeah, I got that on mine too. The Uncle Drew soundtrack was really good. You had a dope song from Remy Ma and my and uh, your boy French Montana. Uh, yeah. New thing. But uh, my favorite song on there was uh, uh, uh Logic. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> uh, thing. I listen to it almost every day. Song with two chains and uh. And, and Tone Stiff. Yeah, that one. There we go. Yeah, Tone, Smith, Tone Stiff had yeah. a dope joint up there. If y'all yeah. don't know who Tone Stiff is, he's backed by Jazz Prince, the same guy that found Drake. Right. So that should let you know that there's some fire there. Yeah. You know, and it's got some dope songs. Logic got a song up there that's pretty much reimagined. It, it's got some good music up there. Uh, ASAP Ferg. Soundtrack. Yeah, it's actually really good, man. Yeah. And uh, I also went with The Kids Are Alright. Word. Fuck the kids too. that see ghosts. <laughs> the kids are alright. Chloe and Haley. Yeah, I got that. They too. had one of the doper projects of this year. Yes. They're having another they're having an amazing year. I forgot who they're on tour with right now. 
I want to say Janelle Monae. I'm not sure. But I could be wrong. They're on tour right now. They mm-hmm. might be opening for the Carters for all I know. No, I think that's, that's what No, they're opening for Carters. Okay. I think they're on tour with the Carters. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. And if y'all ain't heard Chloe and Haley's, the kids will be all right. Fuck the kids' seagulls. <laughs> the kids that are all right. Check that joint out. Because they killed that, man. What you got? Uh, Black Thought and Ninth. Man, just a dope project. You can go to it any time and just get bars and dope music. Absolutely. Yeah. I agree with that 100%. I don't remember how to say the guy's name, Zandusky or whatever. Is that? Janvoski or something yeah, like yeah, that. Whatever that joint was. <laughs> he had to join with Rap. But Rap City, for those that don't know, I, yeah. I, we refer to her as Rap because we're fans mm-hmm. of Rap City. But he's got a song with Rap. He's got the song with Styles P. Yeah. And he is just killing it. Yeah. Streams of Thought. Black Thought is killing everything he's on. He's like on a tear right now. Yeah. He's been on a tear his whole career, but if you didn't know, he's definitely at least on a tear right now. Yeah. And the last joint on my list is Saint Beauty. I I, I was that Run was one of my the mentions, sun. man. I, I was close to that. That's I, the last joint on my list. Y'all I ain't heard Running to the Sun. Y'all need to hear it. Wonderland got some great music over there. Well, I guess I can fill in for one since I messed up on Montana. <laughs> uh, I can say Ocean. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I was next day. I was going between Saint Beauty and Ocean because I like both of them. But yeah, Ocean was pretty dope. I like Ocean, but Saint Beauty's project was a lot better, in my personal opinion. I agree. And any of those projects, if you listen to any of them, they're all great. Yeah. Group well worth. Projects. Well worth your time. All of them, yeah. All of them are definitely worth a listen. You'll find at least four good songs on each one. Even the uh, love story, the love short, the st- love story short. With Arm on the Trey? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's only five songs, and I guarantee you're probably like four. Great. All right, man. Best R&B project so far 2018. Yeah, man. In no particular order. None at all. Me, for some reason, the first thing that came to mind was November by Sir. I agree with you. Got that on mind. Not saying it's the best one. Yeah. But, man, that project is dope. If y'all don't know who Sir is... He signed a TDE. Yep. That should already tell you en- enough right there. His voice <laughs> his voice sounds amazing. Yeah. And this this project right here just straight vibed out to, man. Yep. And you said you had it as well. Yeah, I had it on mine as well. That's what's up. Uh, I had Adrian Daniel with Flawed. Okay. Um, I love that project. I go back to it every now and then. Uh, you know, a few songs that stick out to me on there was, um, ah, dang, it slipped my mind. Uh, uh, ru- um, Rare, rare. I want to say Rage, I'm aware, but Rare and a couple other songs. But yeah, I love Adrian Dan and what he brings to music. The one, it's not on my list, but Ro James. Yeah, I thought about the that Smoke too. EP. Yeah. Because it, it just reminds me of, of November and, and the Sir Realm. Right, I agree. I just wanted to mention that. Yeah. But that's not on my list. I got Dirty Computers by Janelle Monet. Same here. Great project, dope movie. Yes, that she had along with it with Tessa Thompson about memories and society, and just watch it. It'll have you thinking about things, and it's a good thing to think. Just do it while it's still legal to do it. <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? Yeah. What you got? Uh, next, I got uh, Leon Bridges with "Good Thing." It's another album I catch myself going back to. I just love his style. I just love everything that he does, and the album really warmed on to me more and more as I listened to it. Okay. I went with the opening ceremony from BJ the Chicago Kid. Got I know well. it's only three but songs. But it's an amazing But those three, three songs. songs, yo, you will be in as the zone. As soon as you turn it on. Yo, man. that shit is fire. Go what on. you got, man? Oh, uh, <laughs> man. Next, I got uh, Lost and Found by George, George Smith. Uh, I listened to it a couple more times, and it's a very unique album that stands out. I picked that one, too, as well. Georgia Smith lost and found dope she has a great voice i feel like she needs to find that perfect production for her sound yeah like you know the blue lights i feel like that sound fits her perfectly and even what she did with drake and you know i I just and what she did on all the soundtracks and all the features she's on like the the caliucci's joint like she tried to save it but it was just far gone (laughs) but understand like she has that type of voice where you know it could do some dope things uh the next joint on my list is priscilla renee colored Yep, I definitely here. had to add that. I had to, too. If y'all listen to it, it's like a fusion of country and R&B. It is so dope. It's so a chill well done. vibe. She sings well. The production is well. 
you should kick if yourself in the ass with your own foot. I'm pretty if you sure don't like that. This joint. Well, yeah, you have to listen to it. If you haven't heard it, go it's listen very to unique. It. You're yeah. not gonna. If you like Beyonce's song, uh, what is that joint? Uh, Daddy's lessons. Oh, if you like that, this is that, but more and deeper into that sound. It'll definitely and, like, captivate your attention. Yeah, you can tell that Priscilla Renee is definitely from the country and like yeah. you know, like a small part of Florida, and you, you get that sound, and it's just really dope, man. What definitely. you got? Oh, I got Neo with Good Man. You know, Neo came back with a fire album, just doing what Neo does best, man. I had to add that too. Because Neo's CD, that joint was good. I felt like it was inconsistent as far as the sound. I felt like he was trying to take us all over the world, but that does not change the fact that there was a lot of good music up there. And Neo is one of the best songwriters of our generation, man, hands yeah. down. Yeah. I went with Side B of Scorpion. Oh, so you chose one side. <laughs> okay. Side all B right. of Scorpion. Because I like Side B a little bit more than I like side A. I know that's not the general consistency. Yeah, but consistency. But yeah. it's starting to change that way because in my feelings, feelings all of a sudden is, yeah. is the number one song <laughs> in the country. And right. then, you know, the song with Weekend oh the song with Michael, Michael Jackson, Jackson. That everybody's <laughs> saying it should have just been the weekend. Right. That song is apparently gonna get a single for that. And okay. it's I like Side B. It had nice for what up there. Side B is dope. Okay. Next I had uh Rough Drafts Part One with Trevor Jackson. You know, it took a while for the album to grow on me, but I catch myself listening to a good majority of the album on my playlist. And it, like, I remember me not liking it all the way at first, but man, that album's dope. Yeah, I love Trevor Jackson's Rough Draft Volume Ones. I didn't write it down on my list. I looked at it. I was trying to keep the list to ten. Yeah. But fuck it, I'll mention it too because it, it was really <laughs> a great album. Yeah. So y'all should definitely check that joint out because Trevor Jackson. If y'all don't know who he is, he just played man Superfly. He was Superfly. Played Superfly. Super he has a uh, uh, Burning Sand on, on um, Netflix. Sand. He's, he's on uh, Grownish. The, Grownish. Yeah. yeah he, he's he can act, dance, sing, Very rap. Talented. He's Very super talented. talented. You should yeah. definitely check him out. And uh, on my list, I got Bozzy, um, mm. Cosmic from okay. Bozzy. Yeah. Uh, I, I really liked it. I liked mine. Like, he's got some dope voice. He's got a dope voice. Uh, the homeboy from The Four sung one of his four. A, cu- a couple people from The Four have sung his songs at, when they came up there to audition right. for the show. Right. And he's just got some really commercial-friendly music. But it doesn't change the fact that it's good music. Yeah. And last on my list, I got uh, KTSC, Tiana Taylor. You know. I feel just how she feels, you know, it really wasn't complete, but I still love the sound that came from it. And if we get an album of more of that, I believe it can be one of the best albums out. I wanted 40 minutes from Tiana Taylor, at least. Um, I have that on my list as well. Keep the same energy if y'all didn't know what it meant. Yeah. Uh, it, was, it was a dope album. Uh, I may not like the way it opened. But man, that second song, it just makes you feel some type of right. chill way. Like you need to hug yourself or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you don't get too many songs that make you feel like you need to hug yourself. Yeah. And Tiana Taylor pulled that off. Threesome with uh, Ty Dolla was dope. She's yeah. doing a joint project with Ty Dolla. I can't wait for that to come out. Right. Uh, the last joint on my list is Sex and Cigarettes from Tony Braxton. I considered that. Yeah. I had to add that joint. It was really dope. Tony Braxton. She's got a spot in my heart for her music. <laughs> like, I've been listening to her music since I was a kid. My, you know, parents riding around in the car listening to it. It's, it's like Breathe Again just makes me feel some type of way. And then you listen to it, and at the end, she just takes that deep, ex, you know, exhale and inhale. Like, do people even notice that at the end of the song? I haven't, but now I do. Damn. Like, yeah, just listen to Breathe Again, and then you just hear she takes this really deep exhale and inhale because like you know the whole song she's waiting to breathe <laughs> you know what i'm saying and you know seven whole day all that shit man yeah. love should have brought you home last tony braxton is the shit she continues to be the shit continues to work with baby face love tony braxton man yeah and every single album we named again is definitely worth checking out give it the time you will not be disappointed yeah because i the, the beginning half of this year was stacked yeah. I don't know how to, the last end is going to have to be quiet. Yeah, when you think about how much quality music we've gotten already, let's go close out the year. Melanie Fiona? Hint, oh, hint. I'm hoping. Where you at? Drop. Where you at? Gosh. <laughs> All right, man. Best hip-hop albums are projects. Yeah. So far, 2018, man. And to start off the list, 
all you guys in the comments that are under the Nikki comments. Cardi B, Invasion of Privacy. Woo! Can you see me? Uh-oh. Cardi B. Yeah, like you can go back and watch videos, uh, us talking, and we hated on Cardi B. Yeah. And then we actually did a whole episode where we actually reviewed every Cardi B album. Matter of fact, I'll put the link right there so you can watch that after you finish this. <laughs> and then uh, we learned that she's not whack. Yeah. And she actually has some dope material, even though, yes... Um, um, Fontaine is helping her write her lyrics We're talking about the project I'm not saying who's the best lyricist right now She's I'm talking a, about the body of work And Invasion of Privacy is fucking dope Yeah she's an honorable, honorable mention On mine I didn't put her on my list But she was close Okay yeah So first I got Royce with the book Orion Like for, immediately came to mind So I mean no particular order But Royce the book Orion is just everything That album if you haven't heard it yet, I don't know what's what's wrong with you. Yeah, I obviously have the Book of Ryan on my list, too. I'd have to be stupid to not have it up there. <laughs> Michael Eric Dyson was on uh, The Breakfast Club, and he was just talking about how powerful the album was. And it's a dope album. Like, that you song, Power, that song Power meant everything to me. Like, that, like, just some of my childhood, I was just like, yo. Send it to all my siblings, and they was all just like... Yo, did he live in our house? That's right. <laughs> like, yeah. it, it's dope. It's a deep album, man. Love that joint. Next on my list, I got Victory Lap from Nipsey Hussle. Me too. Got that on my. Nipsey Hussle is the fucking man. Slapping the shit out of people at BET <laughs> Awards and shit. <laughs> Love Nipsey Hussle. I understand he's not the super most lyrical, miracle. But he commands. But the way he raps on his. Yo, Blue Notes is on my gym list. That shit is hard. Mm. My bad, Blue Notes too. Hustle and motivate. Na, yo, th the project is just dope. <laughs> Especially yeah. like even rap niggas. Like yeah. I, I don't like how he keeps saying nigga after every line. Yeah. But it makes the joint. The song is just still so fucking hard. Like it makes you feel like I could see like why somebody would go do a drive by after listening to that song. It's just just that hard. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> don't do that though. <laughs> what you got, man? I got uh, KLD by J Cole, man. You know, I know it's not loved by a lot of people, which I still don't understand why, but. I'm not saying it's the greatest album. This is what you call the flip. But it's it's one of the, it, it affected me personally, and I, I love what it did and what he did conceptually with the music. I like how he what he did with the uh, two minute mu music video he's dropping and everything like that. So yeah, dope album. Yeah, I just want to throw it out there. I got 15 for the hip hop section. Just saying. <laughs> I don't know how many you got, but I got 15 because I ain't want to leave anybody out. I know this next one is not gonna have. My man Ace Happy over here. Oh, snap. Let's but go. I pick Harder Than Ever by Lil Baby. What? That joint, I know we disagreed on the great, but yo, that joint is still hard. I listened oh, to it on man. Friday, and I was just like, yo, this joint is hard. It's, it's really harder than ever. Like, Lil Baby, he had one with that one, man. That's just me. And since I have more than you, let me just, I'm going to just double up right quick. Yeah, I got, cover that up. <laughs> I got Pray for the Devil by Montana 300. Okay. Because yes. it's a solo project. I could have sworn that was a group one, but okay. <laughs> but I fuck with Montana the 300. That project was good. Pretty much like you said, dance with my AK. I mean, I don't have one, but if I did, <laughs> I would dance with it to that song. What you got, man? I got Tech 9 with Planet. That album, I, I turned it on again the other day, and I'm just like, yo, that's just one of those albums you can listen all the way through. No stop, no stopping anything. So yeah, Tech 9, I hope y'all caught winning that because that album was great. Yes, it was, but it didn't make my list. <laughs> but you know what did make my list? I'm going to throw two out there right quick. I got Solar by No Big Deal. We just reviewed that. I, I was going to throw that on my That team. joint is dope. Yeah. It's definitely the best gospel, I mean, Christian, me, Christian rap music uh, album we've heard this year. Yeah. But you wouldn't know it was a Christian album unless I told you. You really couldn't tell. Yeah. And then I also have Sincerely Kaya by Kaya Baby. Aside from... And, and, Nikki fans, wait, chill out. I don't know <laughs> when you're watching this video. But after Cardi B, she had the best like female rap album so far this year. But her album, I feel like uh, mixtape stood up close to everybody else's as well, man. Yeah, I agree with you. Next, I got Fonte. No news, good news. Man, I don't know what, what, to, what more to say. Fonte. So help me God, I murder you niggas. Oh, Yo, that whole album is just crazy. It's great. Every time you listen to it, it's a breath of fresh air. Yeah, I definitely picked that as well. 
Fonte, no good news. I mean, no, no news. No news is bad. No news is good news. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Fonte killed that joint. That joint was on point. 100% agree with you. I don't know if I mentioned I had KOD on my list too. Okay, that's what's up. I mean, who doesn't have KOD on that <laughs> list? No matter how you felt about it. But I also have my man Mickey Fax, the achievement up there because that joint had me gone. I have that too. Versus. That track Versus, man. That's what I think about all the time. <laughs> versus. Crazy. On me? Yeah. All right, I got uh, Pootyville. A beautiful story, man. Bro, I, 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 that joint was dope too. Yo, man, like I, I, I don't think most of y'all even check that out. So if y'all haven't, go listen to Pootyville, man. You won't be disappointed. His name is Pootyville, but trust and believe the project is actually dope. Like when we clicked on it, we were kind of laughing, but when you hear him start rapping, you stop laughing and be like, "Yo, this dude is no yeah. joke." Yeah. I, I don't necessarily agree with his name, but you know, <laughs> I got the redemption. By J Rock. That was one of my mentions. Definitely yes. one of the dopest projects 2018 so far. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna end up being one of the doper projects of 2018. Yes. Out of sight, out of mind, the freestyle joint he had with Kendrick, ES uh Tales. When is my joint for the summer? I love that song in the gym. It's a really great song. Yeah. Dope project from J Rock, as usual. Got uh Quincy White, Soul of the Panther. That was that came out last year, man. It did? Yes. I could have sworn that came out this year. <laughs> we reviewed it this year. See, we review too much music. <laughs> well, then, let me go in with another one, then. Uh, Bobby Fino. Okay. Uh, Flamingo and Colville. Col- Colval? Colville. Yeah. Dope project, The streets man. that Biggie, I ain't that Tupac got shot on. Uh, that was a dope project, man. Like, you know, just really dope project. Go listen to it. Yeah. That Watermelon Sunrise. Woo! Man, that shit is fire. Yeah. It makes you feel like you need a drink that's called the Watermelon Sunrise. <laughs> like, straight up and down. Uh, On my list, I have Daytona by hmm. Pusha T. Not on mine. That's okay. crazy. We can't sit here in front. That joint was front. hard. The beats were hard. It was straight. That, just, huh, that, <laughs> shit, that shit is hard, bro. <laughs> You ain't see the video of King James working out? No, nah, I don't. I don't look into those videos like that, man. It just so happened to push the T had shared it, uh-huh. so I, I saw it. That's what's up. And uh, that definitely, uh, if you know, you know. And uh, the games we played, they're both on my gym playlist too. There's some they're great songs to work out to. Okay. What you got? Uh, Noid, blame it on Jay Z. Me too. Project. I got it too. Yeah. No project. Blame it on Jay-Z. If I ain't heard it, like, annoyed be killing shit. Like, killing. Yeah. One of the dope lyricists, man. We might just need to do reaction videos. <laughs> Word. Because annoyed is fucking fire, yo. Yeah, man. Definitely need to get on him. He, uh, he's, he performed at the uh, the Brooklyn shit yesterday that's on title. Word. I started watching that for a bit, too. Yeah, he's on there. Oh, that's he performed, what's up. He performed yesterday. So, shout out to Annoyed, man. He's dope. That's and he's, he's even shared us reviewing his project. Yep. So, shout out to Annoyed, man. My next joint, and I can't believe he don't got it on his list, man. Bobby Tarantino 2. Oh, God. By his man, Logic. That joint was hard. Oh. I think, personally, that was Logic's best project. It was a great project, but it, was, it wasn't it was just nothing to be memorable. It has memorable tracks. Like, I can go play three or four all day, but it just wasn't really memorable. So nah, that joint was fire. I'm yeah. still the, one of the biggest Logic's fans, but that's it. And the last one on my list is uh, ASAP Rocky with Tested. Dope album. A lot of different type of music on there that he played around with. Real dope album. Yeah, that's definitely a dope project. But the last one on my list is my homeboy. Your homeboy. Oh, God. Mozzie. Oh, okay. Spiritual Conversation. I considered that, that too. That joint was dope. Yeah. I fucks with Mozzie, yeah. yo. Like, it is just I'm going to go ahead and add that on to my list. That <laughs> that was a dope EP. Because I remember me, I, I wasn't always the biggest fan of Mozzie. But when he dropped that, I was just like, yo, Mozzie is really dope. Absolutely. That I just think fire. I like him when he tunes into more of his personal side. You know, Mozzie's really dope. Can I actually why Kanye West's projects didn't make your list? Uh, because Other I than kids see bullshit. Well, because I didn't feel like his project stood out. You know, I mean, it didn't have anything memorable like I'm used to from a, a Kanye So Ghost project. Town wasn't memorable? Ghost Town was. But anything else on there, I can't remember. I said that as if Kanye CDs made my list. I'm saying. Tiana Taylor and Daytona. Best projects they release. 
Nas yeah. didn't make your list, man. What's up with that? Uh, that's a good question. I think you're scared. I think I'm scared. Why? Yeah, just, you don't get it. The first song. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Because I, I even went back and listened to it. And it's still a dope album, but it's just... Still some bad beats just, for, for Nas. It's just not... Yeah, you know, but... Still a cool project. Anything you're looking forward to for the rest of 2018? Any wish that you hope they come true? Well, I know it's not popular demand, but I'm waiting for that Lupe album. But that's I just me. I stopped caring because this nigga never dropped it. <laughs> He's never dropping. <laughs> never. So that's, that's just me. I'm waiting for that Lupe album. Other than that, uh, nothing that comes, you know, to mind right now. I'm, I am ready for this Nicki album. So I can just rate it. Oh, we, oh man. We, I'm just ready for that. I can't wait. I just can't wait. Ready. I hope it's so fire. I hope it's so fire, nigga. <laughs> like, I want this shit to be volcanoes and ash. <laughs> Like my man Bang Bang Boomerang said, where there's smoke, there's fire, and I'm waiting for the smoke because I ain't seen it. You got yeah. like you got the little puff circle rings from like the tra- little train it could from fucking oh, she's, Chun Li. She's just puffing right now. She's just puffing. Let's just wait. But I got wish list, man. I, I hope Rihanna drops this year. Oh yeah. Um, I hope yeah. Melanie Fiona drops this year, especially coming from a guy that hates black women, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, I can't wait for uh anything from like Remy Ma. Yeah. Um. I'm looking forward to another Jay-Z project. <laughs> Think so? I, I don't know. It's probably not going to nah. come out for a couple years. Nah. But I just like digesting the information that Does he Chris provides. Chris drop anything? Who? Chris Brown? He go drop I anything? I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> he, Yo, he when Joyner, probably drop when, another when six Joyner albums. and uh, Chris Project go drop? I That's one no thing. no clue. Yeah, so the Joyner and Chris Brown, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to that if it happens. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to my tie from Jeremiah and Ty right, Dollar Sign. Right, right. I'm looking forward to anything Ty Dollar Sign. Yeah. And any features from Jeremiah. I want to hear a project from him by itself. Just, just features from Jeremiah. Yeah. And then... uh. I'm actually looking forward to this Ja Rule and Ashanti project. Yeah, I am too. Y'all can hate all y'all want. 50's going to make y'all feel like y'all shouldn't be listening to it. But I'm going to check it out. Because yeah. I fuck with Ja. Y'all can go and listen to Ja's greatest hits. Y'all going to be like, damn, this nigga got hits. And you're going to be singing along to every one of them motherfuckers as you sitting there thinking about how much 50 Cent made you hate. <laughs> That's so real. Yeah, seriously though. <laughs> And uh, I mean, any other surprises that come out, I, I wouldn't be objective to a Solange project. Or, Ooh. I mean, I mean, yeah. we got one last year, yeah. but you know, anything from Solange would be dope. Uh, you know, just any good music. Like I'm, I'm all open for finding new artists like like Priscilla Renee and, yeah. and anybody that's dope. It's been a great year, so just hopefully it keeps going. Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't look like it could keep that pace just because everybody dropped the first half of the year. It seems like after Drake. How many, how many young young boys you looking forward to, man? YB and Corday, of course. Yeah, Corday. I, I want to see dope. Buddy. I hope Buddy drops a project soon. Anybody He's else? supposed to, I think. Okay. But anybody else, yeah, I can't think of right now at the moment. Oh, and, and then, of course, man, Joel Ortiz, Crooked Eye, Joe Button's still retired. Yeah. And, uh, you know, anything from any of them because they're fucking fire yeah. i can't think of anything else me either all right man that's been this week's episode of the report card man check back with us next week we definitely gonna be reviewing Wiz khalifa don't know if we're gonna be doing anything else we'll figure it out yeah. uh make sure you follow us on social media instagram at trc podcast twitter at trc podcast live make sure you subscribe to the podcast on itunes google music play iHeartRadio, radio tune in stitcher lips in all of those places man we got a lot of shit on the horizon. Not talking about it right now, but there's some shit coming. Making moves, son. And uh Yeah. Yeah. That's it, man. Alright. Alright, man. Peace. Peace. Yo, you looking for TV reviews, music reviews, movie reviews? To check out the only reviews that matter, man. Yeah, just hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notifications and stay tuned.